Pinnacle is essentially engineering. Most of your team members are technically qualified. So that brings a certain amount of homogeneity to the entire workforce, so a large one. Does this make life easier for you in living independence or does it make it more complicated? You are asking some tough questions. <laughs> You see, yes, uh, you are right, uh, because in terms of, if you look at the experience and the qualifications of people, most of us are architects and engineers, and uh, I wish we could bring more diversity, but then uh, we have people in our communications department, in our HR department, uh, who definitely in admin, they bring diversity in, in, into our uh, team. and. Uh, Definitely, I feel that uh, even in business development, we have tried to encourage diversity. People are there from different backgrounds and uh, they bring a different perspective to everything. Let's say even now we are getting into IT products also, right? Mm -hmm. So so how will the user perceive the, 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 the user interface, right? So the user interface itself is a very big, uh, uh, you know, critical success for fact, uh, for success. So we have hired now people who can look, who can think like users, right? So the users, um, you know, those UIX people are also a big, uh, big contributor uh, to our quality. So you are right. Uh, you know, definitely we need more people from that perspective. And as we grow, I'm sure uh, we will bring, uh, we'll have more diversity. We definitely want to encourage. That's why we go to the different parts of the country and globally, I think more than, uh, we have people from more than 15 nationalities working in Pinnacle today. And that gives us a lot of perspective, you know, people from Germany, people from Japan, they think uh, quite differently from the US, they quite think quite differently. So whenever we have these uh, meetings, uh, I'm happy that, uh, you know, they bring a lot of different perspective, right? I mean, if you, if you look at a Japanese culture and a German culture and an American culture and an Indian culture, uh, the definition of success is very different in these four countries. So, so these people help us you know, to, to fine tune our deliverables, our structure and we learn these best practices in our country. So what about gender diversity? Uh, does that complicate matter in terms of independence or does it make it better? Mm. <laughs> See, again, uh, of course, we, we are very particular about gender diversity because we believe that there should not be any discrimination based on religion, sex, caste or creed or any, anything. Merit should be the only reason and fitment to our culture should be the the only reason for somebody to be hired. But I have seen, again, women doing extremely well. I mean, I have now a uh, lot of our women employees uh, deputed on Taiwan airport. They want to Saudi Arabia, they want to Dubai, they want to Germany, they want to Singapore. So I'm glad to say that they also bring lot of strength to the team, right? Uh, and, and of course, it's a, there's a, in India, it's a very diversified country and, uh, you know, like in terms of female employees, I see that uh, in South India, they're more particular about their career, you know? So uh, in certain parts of the country, we are not so particular about our career, right? We, we, we consider family as more important and we, we, we leave the organization and try to support the family. So these uh, cultural differences are of course there in the country, but then I'm glad that uh, we are today based in uh, all over the world and these different nationalities and different states that we have in our company uh, that bring a lot of diversity and uh, it is definitely one of the reasons for our success. You know, Bimal, I must uh, congratulate you for having employees. Having an office in Japan is one thing, but having an office and local employees is the next step. 
So when you, as an ultimately human patwari is an Indian, and he is the supreme of political integrity. And when new offices open, I'm sure initially you must be spending more time to ensure that this is done. So what is your experience about the type of independence people in different countries expect at workplace? Very, very well said. Uh, you know, this is, you know, I'm learning every day about this. See, for example, in America, they like the job to be very well defined. Okay. So they, they want that exactly what is expected deliverables from them and uh, it is to be well documented and uh, but and for, for them to get a multitasking is not so easy because they are wired like that in their education right it's, it's their education and they will do very well in what is documented. In India for example we can give multiple assignments to anybody right that's how uh, we this are right. trained, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, so different countries have different cultural bindings, right? So, so I have to be very particular about that. Uh, you know, the the organizational structure, the organizational, the job responsibility definition has to be very clearly laid out in some countries. You know, the number two is the feedback, right? For example, in in US, they really expect continuous feedback, right? That how they are doing. You know, the appreciation is very important for them, right? I mean, if they are not appreciated, uh, they think that uh, that I'm not happy with them. So, no response is not a good news for them, right? right. Whereas so, in India, it is good. It's the other way. So, in India, if you're not telling anybody, anybody, then that means he thinks that everything, he or she, that everything is going well. But there, they need that assurance, right? So, I'm also learning uh, as we as we go into more countries that the individual culture of every organization, every country uh, makes an impact on your organizational structure, your division of the responsibilities in the organization, and uh, and uh, we have to adjust. And these are uh, and there are a lot of good takeaways from those countries which we can implement in our country. That is that is the most important part.